footballer or a cricketer or a volleyball player, name it. Mm. How important is it to stay focused with your education in terms of your studies? Can you do both? It is possible. So it is the discipline you have as a person, then you divide the times. If it is time for games, you go for games. If it's time for going to class, you go to class. So you, 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 you just have to create time for the two, and it will work. It, it will works. work. It works. So you, you advise our youth to stay focused on their studies. And that, is a, that has been my, my advice to whoever I meet. Because like now, these guys are in money fires. So why don't you go back and finish the school if you did not finish because of school fees? Yes. Go and do some training if you did not have the fees then. Because football is short-lived. Athletics is short-lived. At the end of the day, you must have a fallback. You must have a fallback. You must have a fallback. That is why you have just read in the introductory part that I'm doing my PhD now. Imagine I did not involve myself in sports. I would have finished my PhD long time. But because I was doing uh, sports for, I think, three organizations, I was playing for Gormaya, I was playing for Kenya Railways in Kikoso Games, I was playing for the national team, Same. so the time was not so much on my side. But I, there are oh, there, bits and pieces I did that made me climb to a level where when I ended my sporting career, huh. I was now uh, a step away from what I'm doing now. That's commendable. Absolutely commendable. Now, very interesting. The Nelson Mandela Cup with Gormaya in 1987. Yes. Tell us about that. That was the dream year. It must have been so special. So special. What did you feel and, when it happened? And fires, let me tell you now. I worked for only 14 days. How many days do we have in a year? 365. 365. I was in the office for only 14 days. 14 days. Yes. Because I was representing my club in Mandela. I was in the national team. I was in Kikoso. So if I leave Gormaya camp, I was in the national team camp. Mm. If not there, I was in, Kik in Kikoso camp. So it, it was all around. And you, it was. You it were was an extremely dedicated professional. Yes, that one is for a fact. That's the way I'd like to describe you. Yes, that is for a fact. And that is how I am up to date. Yeah. And of course, what's highly, highly commendable is you played in three African Cup of Nations finals. That was 1988, 1990, 1992. 92. And that was the only Kenyan to do so. We are, we are that was an amazing achievement. We are, I think we are five. We are five. There's also Mike Weche. We are five. If I'm not wrong, we are five. We've played three consecutive three, African Cup of Nations? Three finals? consecutive, yes. Okay, interesting. Yes. And, and the, the most is interesting bit with Mandela, we, we picked the tro trophy unbeaten. It was, we only it was drew games. Right? Yeah, we only drew games, yeah. but we did not lose. No losses. No losses. We only drew games. Moving forward from there, what is the future of football in Kenya? Can we be what we were 20, 30 years ago? Why have, or why have the standards dipped? In a quick summarization of about two minutes, what can you tell me? The, the, the summary is, it's about leadership. Leadership is key in everything. During our days, the people who were leading were, had the interest in the game, they were focused in the game, and they were beyond reproach in their leadership. What we are having today is not the kind of leadership we need to have for the sport. Because you have to be spot on in what you want the, the, the players to do, and the fans to do. We, we are too far away because if we want our football or whichever sport to grow, we have to market the sport well. And we are not doing it. And we can only use our achievers, those who have achieved in those sports, to market the sport for us. Because look at what is happening in Europe. 
Messi with Coca-Cola. Every other Ronaldo with every other thing. So people will buy the Coca-Cola here or uh, Bidco products here because it is being advertised with Wanyama. Mm. Why do we look for foreigners to come and do this for us? So let us localize our marketing strategy to uplift the standard of so football. So this passion leagues. for overseas leagues like the English Premier League, you know, it's like a religion, like a cult here. Yes. It's because they've lost interest in the local leagues because the standard is, the not, standard there. is not there. The standard is not there. For us, if, I, if, I, if I, I, I want to say this, you are asking me about Arambestas and Uganda. You are here in Kenya. Did you know Arambestas were playing Uganda? Yeah, it's, it's a bit sad. It was just on the sidelines. Sidelines. But when we were playing, the, 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 the reporters, the, 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 the newspapers, the sports desks in each and every studio will have, be, they, they would serialize. The game is coming. It is Kenya versus Uganda. There will be a strong This is a derby, it. a strong build up to it. It was not there. We were in camp for four days. How do you achieve a result we, you want? It is not possible. So if we want to grow our sport, if we want our teams to perform well, preparation is key. And the leadership must be on top of everything and lead from the front so that people, you carry people along with you. Don't disintegrate. Otherwise, we are not going anywhere because our preparations are ever in shambles. In clubs, in national team, we can't, we can't achieve. But those days, if I can tell you, we picked Mandela because the club officials then, we were in camp in Denmark for a whole month, preparing for Mandela games. So when we were coming back, we played against the best teams in Denmark. So when we were coming back, we were just... There was passion, there no, was dedication. Yes, yes. Monetary, monetary aspects weren't important. Things are different. Today, monetary aspects are more important. Passion's being lost. It's all gauged with money. And, and that is why, for me, nowadays, or the current crop of players, they need to play so much because they are being remunerated for it. As we were playing for the passion, the federation should wake up and make sure that he or the office rallies the clubs around the, the, the federation so that they work as one unit. The, in fact, the, 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 the team now, the sport now, which we call football, uh, the clubs are on their own, the, the federation are on their own, they're only meeting during the games, and that is the end. That should not happen. It should be one house. I could sit and talk to you for the next two hours. It's so interesting speaking to a great legend like you, but we've run out of time. It's been an extreme pleasure. Tobias Juakali Achola. Just before you part, Juakali, quick one. How did that come about? It was the way I was playing. It was a no-nonsense place, so you could not pass. If you pass, the ball remains. Thank you very much, Tobias Juakali Ochola. It's been an extreme pleasure sitting and chatting with you. And our first shake, COVID days. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. That is where we put a cap on our Living Legends segment. Thank you, Tobias Ochola, for gracing our studios.